Hi, this is Molly Schrader, and I am going to be sharing how you can use a couple different websites called Color Lovers and Picnic to create custom logos or headers for your Google site. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start at Color Lovers, and Color Lovers is a site that allows you to browse different palettes of colors that different people have put together that look good together. And once you find a palette of colors that you like, you can click on it, and you can create a pattern based on those colors. So there are lots of different options that you can use. I'm going to just quick choose one in mosaic here um, that I like that uses the different colors. Um, and what I do is I then name this pattern and I'm just going to call it May 2011 um, for the time being. The reason you have to create a, an account with color levers in order to save these patterns because once I save it I can click on it to make it really large. So now I can do a screen capture of this very um, background that I created. I use Snagit for my screen capture. There's lots of different free tools that you can use like Jing. But what you need to do is you need to make a JPEG of this background. So I'm going to save it on my desktop as just green background. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, head over to Picnic, which is a website that you can do photo editing um, from Google. And I'm going to upload a photo. And I'm going to upload that photo of the green background that I just created. And it's going to upload into Picnic. And there's lots of different things that you can do with photos in here. But I'm just going to click on the Create tab. And I'm going to create a little logo. The first thing I'm going to do is use a sticker. And I like the geometry stickers to kind of give me a little background for what my text is going to be on the site. So I'm going to just kind of make this little um, area that my, my text will go in. The next thing I'll do is I'll click on text and I'll just write in the text in this little box that I want on my site. So Molly's classroom and I can add it. Now it just adds sort of a general font um, here and uh, so you can different you can size it and then you can add different colors. And one of the things that I like is uh, using this little um, feature right here gives me the eyedropper. So then I could match it to the exact different colors that are on the site. So I'm going to choose the green. And then I can also go and use all of these different um, fonts that they like. So I'm going to choose one down here that I like. That, oop, I need to have the text selected. And then I can scroll on down here and choose one of the fonts that I like. And then I can enlarge, make it larger or smaller um, for your classroom site logo. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is now I'm going to take a screenshot of part of the background and then part of my logo that I have, including just part of the information or part of the picture that you want. And again, turn it into a JPEG. So once I turn it into JPEG, I'm going to call it logo two. And the next thing I'm going to do is go to my Google site. Now, my Google site that I have um, created, I just started with the plain, simple theme so that you can have a little bit more customization with some of the colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on More Actions and Manage Site. And there are a few things that I'm going to need to do here. The first thing I'm going to do is click on General and uncheck the site name and Save Changes. The next thing I'll do is go into Site Layout. And under Site Layout, I'm going to change the logo and I'm going to create a custom logo and it's going to ask me to choose the file. So from here I'm going to look for my logo 2 that I just created. It will upload and I can click OK. Now in order to make it look a little bit nicer I'm going to click Save Changes but then I'm also going to click Change the Site Layout. One of the things that I use for the site width is 950 pixels as that just kind of looks good on everybody's computer. I also then like to change this to the middle and this to the center, click OK, save changes, and then return to site. And now you can see that I have a nice header for my Google site. You can also customize some of the colors of the background and the page background uh, to make it match all of the different colors from your new logo. So enjoy cover, color levers and picnic to create new images or logos for your website.